The chandelier you're standing under is original to the 1859 construction. It's a mansion with character that many believe is haunted by history. Well, this is the 1859 Ashton Villa. It was built for the family of James Moreau and Rebecca Stoddard Brown. Rumor has it the spirit of Betty, one of the Brown children, may inhabit the walls of 2328 Broadway Avenue J in Galveston. I definitely think there's a spirit here. Um, we've had several odd occurrences here that have uh, been associated with alarms going off for unexplained reasons. But Jamie Durham, the historian with the Galveston Historical Foundation, says the rumors lead her to believe it may be haunted by the youngest child, Matilda, a talented musician. If piano music is wafting from the walls of Ashton Villa at all hours, day and night, perhaps it's not Betty, maybe it's her sister Matilda. Now, I don't need any convincing. I believe in spirits, and during the interview, things got a little creepy. The family room walls are pushed out. What was that? I don't know what that was. And that's when I started to rethink this story assignment. See, this is the stuff I don't like. <laughs> I really don't, I don't like this. But after calling on the Lord. Oh my God, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. <laughs> We realized it was only Cameron Dunbar, the facilities manager who entered Ashton Villa through a very creaky door. He picked up our tour. And we were standing outside. We weren't going into the rooms. We were standing outside, and I was telling a story about something that had happened to me on the third floor. And um, both of these, the doors to this just like burst open. Thankfully, nothing like that happened on our tour, but you can test your own luck in the Ashton Villa.